Shalom, dearly beloved, I greet in the peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, our soon oncoming King. So, about the three days of darkness, many of you will be very happy that it didn't happen because from the first time I gave the prophecy, you all tried to crucify me, saying it's Catholic, saying it's not real, God's too loving, these things are not going to happen, and you said the most. I've had people laugh in my face hysterically. I've had people say all kind of things. The truth is, I still stand by that prophecy. I still stand by the fact that there will be three days of darkness. And I still stand by the fact that the Lord said it would have been yesterday. Now, first of all, if somebody does feel offended, or in their rightful mind and heart they feel like I've lied and purposely deceived you, for followers or views, I will apologize to you because that's not my intention and I don't want no one to feel bad. However, if you notice, there is no adverts on any of my videos. That means I'm not getting paid by YouTube or Google. Secondly, there is no PayPal account, so I'm not trying to get any money from anyone. The truth is, I love the Lord and I love serving the Lord. Now, for those of you who came to Christ or share this message, God bless you. Do not condemn yourself as if you took part in false prophecy. This is real and it's coming. Now, for those of you who are targeting Sister Carrie Ann, she did not set a date. She only said the Lord told her April. She didn't know what year. She didn't know what April. She didn't know any of that and she confessed it repeatedly. So do not try to use my prophecy to, to target the woman of God. She's God's chosen anointed. The Bible says, touch not the Lord's anointed. Excuse me. Secondly, please understand this. The Lord had me fast for four days for the whole world after he gave me the prophecy that people may repent, take the prophecy seriously, share the message and come to him while there's still time. Secondly, he had me buy a microphone and a speaker and go out in the street and preach the gospel because of the urgency for people to repent. Yesterday, when it got to, I believe, sometime after 12, and I too noticed that the skies was too very bright, I went outside and I looked up. And I said, Lord, you told me to tell the people today at 12, why is it still sunny? And I heard clear as day the Lord say to me, I almost weeped under the Holy Spirit. He says, my son, many of my people are still outside. I'm giving them time to repent. At the time, I thought he meant outside, as in outside in the streets or whatever. So he's giving them time to go home. I later realized that when he said he, there was outside, he meant there was outside of his grace. They did not repent. And because the Lord is merciful and gracious, this is why it never happened yesterday but it was supposed to happen yesterday meaning it will still happen at some point the Lord has not given me a new date so I will not profess it many people say the rapture is going to happen on this date and that date and it didn't happen that don't mean you disregard the rapture the rapture is going to happen and the Lord is God Almighty he can change his mind if he wants to Maybe I feel a little bit humiliated, but I don't mind. I actually don't mind because the Lord was humiliated for me. He went through a lot for me. So if he wants to use me, however he seems fit to let his will be done, that's up to him. I will still give him glory. I will still serve him. I'm not going to go back to drugs and alcohol and being angry and rejoin gangs and start busting guns and living a crick. No, I will still serve the Lord. I may go into fasting and prayer for a while to find out exactly why did he change the date in terms well i know why he changed it but just for them to know that listen i still serve you and i love you and even though i feel bad in a little way i'm not gonna leave or or turn away from the lord amen now to confirm what the lord had said to me when i went outside and i asked him lord how comes you said today and it's not happened and he said some of my people are still outside meaning outside of his grace, outside of his presence. And he was, excuse me, giving them time to repent. In the very same way, 
uh, one of my sisters in Christ, she sent me a message that came out where the Lord had revealed to someone that it was meant to be yesterday. But he took this person in the spiritual realm and he showed them many of God's chosen elect or bride are not in their rightful position. They're not in their rightful seat. And because the Lord is so merciful, there's a few people around the world that's been crying out to God and crying out to him for mercy and grace upon the world. And because of this, he gave a little window, meaning he extended the time where he should have done the darkness for a little bit longer. Amen. I will play this video and you can listen. I will also link it in the description below. If you want to continue to scoff and say it's not going to happen and I'm a false prophet, God bless you. I'll be praying for you. Amen. But I know what the Lord told me and I know what he told me to say and I know when he told me to say it. And he is God Almighty. So if he wants to change the date because of mercy, that's up to him. For he is a merciful God. And many of you should be grateful because if it had happened yesterday, a lot of you on us would have lost family members and friends who are not in the position where we would like them to be for God's grace to protect them. I'm going to play this message now. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Blessings in the name of the Lord. I've been given this special instruction to update and give a spiritual update about what's, what's happening in the spirit realm. Um, I took the matter to the Lord because the, 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 the first revelation he gave to me um, not um, the other night, um, when he said that this this darkness is going to affect the world, it's going to start from 11.30. I was confused. I was thinking, oh, it's going to start now, by now, right? But lo and behold, brothers and sisters, there has been an added grace, an extra window of time being given. God, I saw fire, I saw fire, I saw fire in the eyes. He's not happy, but because he gave an added grace, this added grace came as a result of there, as, there's, as, there's a few saints, there's a few saints around the world. I don't know them personally, but they, they, they took me to the spirit realm. They took me to the spirit realm. They showed me some a small group of people that's been praying about this situation, that's been praying about this darkness about that's about to that's about to come on the earth. And they have been they have been trying their best. They've been weeping and crying. I saw them. That wherever you are, there's some saints around the world that God has been listening to your prayers. God has been listening to your prayers. God has been listening to your cry about the situation. And because of your prayers, because of your prayers, and these people, there are only a few people, a handful of people around the world have been praying about this situation, about this three days of darkness, asking for mercy, asking for grace. And because of that, there has been an added extra, added extra small window of grace. That small window of grace needs to be utilized now because God is waiting. God is looking at the elect. There's, there's elect, chosen ones all over the globe, all over the world from different creeds, different, 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 different um, uh, colors, different nations. Those special chosen ones, God, there's, some, there's a few of them that God is waiting for them to take their positions. God is asking, God is waiting, he's, he, he's asking, he's calling his elect back. He wants his elect to, to, to pick up the lamp. There's a special lamp, a special lamp. This torch is a, is, is, is a responsibility torch. This torch is, is because of the fact that he wants his elect to be in a, the right positions. There's, there's seats that are, being, that are empty. And while I was praying, they took me to, they took me, they took me to another dimension. I saw empty seats. These seats are empty. Those seats are, are the seats of the elect. There's some, uh, there's some chosen ones in the world today, right now, that have not been sitting on their rightful seat in the spirit realm. And this extra grace that's been given, right? This extra grace that's been given is for those saints around the world to, for them to find their way back to god now before this extra win before this grace window closes because i saw the fire in the lord's eyes i was i was thinking i, was, I said to the lord so because of this the, the because of the handful of uh, saints that have been 
interceding uh, concerning the three days of darkness, there's been a window of grace. That window of grace is awarded on the basis of the fact that, on the, on the condition of the fact that when the, the saints that haven't found their seats, there's others, the elect, there's some elect that have not positioned themselves in the right standing with God. And God is looking at them right now. He's looking at them right now. This extra window of grace is for those elect to find their way back to God now. Find their way back to God now. This is important. This is this is this is important because what I saw is that they, basically there was <clears throat> there was other beings, these other uh, these angelic beings, but they they they, they were different. They look they were fiery red, black. They were different. They were holding. They were they were about to unleash this thing. They were about to unleash it on the earth, but they've been told to hold and wait a little bit. Wait. But there will come a time when that extra grace that's been given that window will be closed and when that window closes the wrath that God wants to unleash on this planet those other saints that haven't found their way back to God to find their position in God right now if they haven't found their way back to God by that time by the time the, the grace window closes then when the wrath happens those elects will not be saved those elects will not be protected this is what was revealed to me when I was praying just now. You see, God is, even though God... Hi. So, brothers and sisters, we all know we serve a merciful Lord, a loving Lord, that says in His will that it's His will for none to perish. And even in the original prophecy, I told you very clearly, I felt in my spirit the Lord did not want to do this, but He was doing it to wake His people up. You can clearly hear the brother said that when he went to the Lord on why did it not happen today, which was yesterday, the Lord took him into the spirit realm and showed him the saints that's been weeping to the Lord for mercy. Then the Lord took him to another dimension and showed him the beings that was holding back the darkness from happening yesterday. So like I said, from the first time I brought the prophecy out, he was all ready to crucify me. There's only a few handful of people that says glory to God and thank God for the revelation. Most of others was ready to crucify me, call me a false prophet, demonic dreams, blah, 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 the most. So like I said, the Lord changed the date because he's the Lord. He changed the date because he's merciful because many people, excuse me, was not ready. And he's going a small window for those of us that wasn't ready to repent and get ready. So not because it didn't happen yesterday, doesn't mean it's not going to happen. And for those of you who say no man knows the day or the hour, no man knows the day or the hour, that is referencing to when Jesus is coming back. I never referenced when Jesus was coming back. I never, never said I knew when he was coming back. Amen. So like I said before, if anybody felt like I offended them or anything like that, I do apologize because it's not my intention. But am I apologizing for the prophecy and the date that I set? No. If the Lord convicts me of that, then I will come back and I will apologize because I'll say the Lord rebuked me and the Lord told me he never gave me that date and the Lord said this and I will repent that way. But will I repent for saying what I know the Lord told me to say? No. I don't. And what you need to do is actually go to the Lord, yeah, and repent and pray for your family members because this darkness will come. This freedom of darkness will come. There's some of you that are saying, no one knows when it's coming. Fair enough, at least you're aware that there's a darkness coming. But there's other brothers and sisters out there saying, it already happened in the day of Moses. It's not happening again. Others are scoffing and saying, it's fake. It's never going to happen, never going to happen. What will be on to you when it does? So use the time wisely because the Lord said through that gentleman that, that the voice note was sent to me, that it was meant to happen yesterday. It was meant to happen yesterday, but because many people was not ready, many people was out of position, he held it back for those around the world that was crying for mercy, so he gave mercy. Just like when I went outside and I said, Lord, you told me today, look at the time. The Holy Spirit fell on me like a rain and the Lord said very clearly to me, he's, he's given more time because many people are still outside. I later realized that he didn't mean outside, outside. It meant outside of his grace, outside of his protection. So, 
God bless you all. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit and the protection of the Holy Spirit be with you all and me in Jesus' precious, holy, beautiful name. Amen. Shalom and peace. <laughs>